Right, this is fifth stanza of the poem, lines written in early spring written by Indian poets work. So here, the budding pigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air. And I must think, do all I can, that there was pleasure there. So in this stanza, he talks about the twigs. Twigs means the small branches of the tree. Marathan will be kuchi gal shulom. Yeah, the kuchi na on this twigs actually. The budding twigs spread out their fangs. So, the budding twigs means the new twigs are spreading their fangs. Fangs means their fingers. The kuchi gal gal tan, the kaat gal on the river will be made in the river. So, the budding twigs spread out their fangs. to catch the breezy air. Why it is spreading? So it is spreading to catch the breezy air. And the cartilage will put in the funny tugal will put in the air and then the sun will be spreading. In the early morning we can see the snow uh, drops on the grass. The muddy tugal will put in the air and then the sun will be spreading. So actually the, the grass is catching the snow water like this. So the budding trees spread out their fans to catch the breezy air. The twigs are spreading in the air to catch the breezy air. And uh, I must think, do all I can. Actually, the poet is thinking. Actually, the poet is taking this in his uh, poetic way. Uh, I must think, do all I can, that there was pleasure there. Actually, he feels that the, the twigs are enjoying the nature. Actually, in the third stanza, what happened? The flowers are enjoying the nature. It is breathing. In the next stanza, fourth stanza, what happened? The birds are enjoying the nature. In the fifth stanza, he talks about the twigs. The twigs are enjoying the nature. So, even the birds, even the flowers, even the twigs are enjoying the nature. So, the human beings are not enjoying the nature. He is going to say. In the last stanza, this is the sixth stanza. If this belief from heaven be sent, if such be nature's holy plan, so the holy plan. Uh, have I not reason to lament what man has made of man? So here, if this belief from heaven be sent, so what is the belief actually? If such be nature's holy plan. So what is the holy plan of the God? The plan is the nature and the human should be joined together. That is the holy plan of the God. But the nature is following that. Even the birds are doing that, the trees are doing that, the flowers are doing that. But especially the human beings are not Uh, enjoying the nature. They are always going away from the nature. So he is going to say. So, if such be nature's holy plan. So what is the holy plan of the God? The human uh, or the human being should be with the nature. But what happened here? The human beings are always away from the nature. But the natures are doing. The birds are enjoying the nature. Twigs are enjoying the nature. Flowers are enjoying the nature. Except the human being. Have I have reason to lament? Lament means unhappy about something. So the poet is unhappy. He says, I have some reason for my unhappy. What man has made of man? What is the man? The man is the man. He is only spoiling the nature or he is going away from the nature. He is not uh, written back anything to the nature. That is the layman, that is the unhappy of the poet. So he ended. So in this stanza, in this stanza the poem ends with fan, air, can, there. So this is the rhyming words fan, can, and then air. There. So this is the rhyming word. Scheme is same A B A B. In the second line, to catch the breezy air, to catch. Actually, the catching is the quality of human being. Understand? So this is for the twigs. So that is personification. 
So in this poem here, the nature story, sorry, uh, send plan, lament man. So the sent lament, rhyming words, plan man, rhyming words. Scheme already I mentioned, A B A B. So in the second line here, give such be nature's holy plan. Holy, no, nature's holy plan. Holy plans means that is the quality of human or God. So here it is mentioning for the nature. So that is personification. Another condition of quality. Another nature is also the personification. In the last line, what man has made of man? In this line, suppose they are asking, what is the figure of speech means? You can say that is alliteration. So because what the man, the word begins with M. Made the word begins with M. Man again the word begins with M. So the three words are three words begin with M, the letter M. So that is called the alliteration. So I have completed the poem. After that. I will give one ERC for me. So you can learn the poem from this video and you can understand.